So I'm looking yesterday at yesterday's trade ideas scanner and going back and looking at a couple of things here. So CING moved after hours and made a massive move. Uh, so this is trade ideas in TC2000. You had uh, the float listed at 13.1 million, and uh, that is actually wrong. So the float was 822,000 here listed in, in trade ideas. So you, you want to have more than one source if you're a day trader, swing trader. Uh, you want to check multiple sources for for uh, you know earnings, whatever, whatever type of research you're doing. It's good to have a backup source. But anyway, this just was lighting up the scanner, right? So what I also like about something having something like this is you can it'll talk to you. Uh, so if we go back to as it's coming in, uh, if I have the volume up on this, it'll read the tickers. AOS. Yeah, see, there's an example of it. Uh, so anyway, the float, think about that, 112,000 shares traded. So 112,000 divided by 822, that's 13% of the float, just in that AOS. one purchase, right? Let me mute this. Uh, all right, do, do you need to look at a chart uh, even? Just to know that, like, if you're only looking at this, yeah, you obviously you'd want to look at a chart uh, to manage risk, et cetera. Uh, but, like, that, that is, like, that's a broken casino uh, right there. You're not going to find something like that with, like, Apple stock or uh, some of these, these big tech. Like, this is where you as a retail day trader have the, have the edge. That's your advantage is to get in on stuff like that. And now the other thing to think about is this thing triggered after hours, right? And it, I don't see, if we look at a one-minute chart, I don't know. I guess I, I don't know much about are you able to halt? There weren't any halts, right? So what's the biggest thing about trading during the day it is something like this. Like I was getting in here. I got it. I was looking at what I did yesterday with this thing. So I got in here and, you know, here you're thinking like, oh, man, this is going to halt. I don't want to get stuck in a halt as it's coming up. It's going to halt probably like right here uh, and ended up not doing that and ended up pulling back all day. Right. So it's like almost like people were waiting. The people that wanted to buy this. Uh, here they waited until after hours to run it now i say that they who knows what really happened but but yeah i mean people that were short this thing were so trapped there's no halts how, how to get out of it right so you know and just look at this beautiful run of, of the chart whatever uh but yeah i think the combination of this cing looking at it and your trading platform having it on a scanner uh but then also having something like this is just just so powerful uh, to have this running in the background and you can see that this was just running right so if we if we rewind it the tape it's you know it started here it started right after hours boom and then it just kept going so i, I don't know if uh i mean do you know what, what are the rules for uh, after hours trading I'd, I'd love to hear if you, if you know drop a like or a comment uh and also what brokers are you using uh for after hours trading i'm actually going to be looking at switching brokers or, or maybe opening an account somewhere else uh, to have multiple accounts. I mean, I do have multiple accounts, but uh, I'm only really using one right now. So I'm, I would like to have uh, TC2000 is not the best for after hours trading. And a lot of these moves happen after hours. And uh, if you don't have to worry about the halts, I think that can make it even better. Uh, maybe it's a little bit easier to run up a stock after hours. That, that, that actually might be the case. I've, I've uh, heard that before.